Fewer briquettes made by compressing biomass residues like charcoal dust, sawdust and other wood remnants or agricultural byproducts and cow dung into a solid unit that is used as charcoal or firewood could help alleviate challenges that Kenyans face while depending on wood for cooking and heating energy. This is the solution for many households because it offers a low-cost means of cooking, heating homes and sometimes powering industrial activities. A section of residents at Kidomayo village, Vanga Kole County, are making briquette charcoal that is helping in solving deforestation and land degradation. Mimi hapa naitengeleza kutokana na chinyesi ya ngombe hili mikauka na makaz, hile bumbi bumbi. Ile bumbi bumbi, sitaki kwa liu ile makama zuri, na chukua ile bumbi bumbi, na saga, na kuwa bumbi, na chukua ile kinyesi ya ngombe, na saga pia, na kuwa bumbi, na changanya. Ten, five. Kulenga ni amradi huu wa Brickways, na wana tatusaidia zaidi, mane ilikuwa tuki, tukitafuta huko kwa misuli, lakini sayo tumepata amradi huu, tatuneleza zaidi. Tuna, tukipanda miti, tutapunguza ile ya juu, itakuwa miti unazidi kuna wiri. Na kata ile majani ya juu, Moreover, wood is often burned in inefficient appliances, causing emissions that have negative health and environmental impacts. Briquettes are more sustainable and more energy efficient and could reduce the pressure on forests and lower pollution levels in urban areas, that is, if more people start using them. Nimejaribu kupea kwenye maoteli. Wakatumia, inatua fizuri, chapati nzuri, na kuna jiko kwa ukeka kwa jiko na ufunge mlango hayo makaa ya sakaa saidi ya masaa sita ikiwa unapasha vitu vyako moto na hiyo maka hiyo jiko moja kukaa masaa sita kilo moja yani ya maka, ya hizo briquettes inasaidia kwa sababu kama ni makaa ungetumia makaa ya kawaida ungetumia mengi sana hayana carbon naweza ukatumia ndani ya chumba na hakuna shida na pia unaweza ukaweka uh, makaa na ukaweka sufuria na ukaenda shambani na ukakuta chakula kimeiva in Nairobi for instance considering the high cost of living that is being witnessed especially by low income earners in Kenya an informal settlement of Kibera one of Africa's largest slums the research found that the use of slow burning charcoal dust and soil briquettes reduced household cooking energy expenditure by 70% if families produced their own and 30% if they purchased briquettes from other sources the production and sale of briquettes offer major income opportunities for entrepreneurs and participants in the supply chain. Miti sisi tunapanda, lakini kama unafanya pruning, hiyo ndiyo unaweza fanya makaa. Tulipanda wenyewe katika mashamba yetu, tukikata tunapunguza, alafu mtu unendelea tunatengeneza makaa. Alafu tukitengeneza, alazile chenga tunatengeneza kwa briquettes. Alafu tunapata kuji, kujisaidia kujendeleza. Mane uo mradi ndo ambao tunatufanisha katika maisha yetu. Briquettes fit nicely into circular bioeconomy approaches that aim to reduce waste and spur more sustainable bioresources and market-based practices while sustaining rural urban linkages. Kwa hivyo ni gaimisa watu wawacha kuharibu miti, wawese angarao kufata, kufata hii utalamu utu meletewa na serekari, ili tuwe wawese kuspea miti kwa sababu ya, sababu ya ta miti, Tunapata miti ewasafi tukiwa katika hali kuna miti. Haina moshi na haina alakati nyingi za kuenda kutavuta huko mbali mbali. Hmm. Una, unatengeneza tu na labu unaweka kwa jiko ni na wakati. The small businesses in Kenya that have ventured into the market are focusing on various energy needs of chicken hatcheries, rural households, tourist camps and restaurants, and the lower and middle classes in urban areas. Kaindo Stefano, Ebru TV.